Yes, Ethan, of course. I'll marry you. I love you so much. I love you, too. No, this, this, this can't be happening. This is all wrong. You're supposed to marry me. Teresa, I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe you should go. I, I hate to see you this upset. Upset, Ethan. My, my world is destroyed. Teresa, I am sorry. Don't cry. I uh, can't. Don't worry about Teresa. She'll be fine. You need to attend to your bride-to-be and have your uh, reunion celebration. Thank you, Mother. Ethan, please, can we, can we just talk? Now, Teresa, now, now, no theatrics. Why don't we let the happy couple here be alone? You little tramp. Have you no dignity, no class? Now dare you slobber all over Ethan and try to destroy my Gwen's shining moment. look like a lovely couple. <laughs> of course, they've always been perfect together. Ah, I can't wait for the wedding. Oh, it'll have to be soon, too, since Gwen is expecting Ethan's baby. Oh, and we're going to have it right here in harmony, so everyone can enjoy it. Oh, I wonder what colors Gwen will choose. Oh. Well, we know what color you'll be wearing, don't we? Green. Because you'll be green with envy. No, Ethan, you can't, Susan. You can't marry her. You can't. Teresa, please. Don't... please don't do this. I am begging you. Please, you can't marry Gwen. You have to marry me. I'm the one that you love. <sighs> Teresa, please, you're making a fool of yourself. Now, just, just stop it. I don't care if I'm a fool. I love Ethan, and he loves me. Ethan, you can't marry Gwen. You don't want to. Teresa, look, don't you know when to quit? He has made his choice. Now, come on, get out. Please, let me just talk to you. I am begging you. No, just, just leave. I'm not leaving. I won't. So, Teresa, please, you're making this so difficult. <sighs> Teresa, you are, you are a shameless tramp with a, without an ounce of dignity. Your mother, stop it. Just stop it. Ethan, why don't we leave you alone for a few minutes with Teresa? Maybe you can help her accept your decision. Thank you. Gwen, thanks for understanding. Well, let's go. Are you out of your mind? You cannot leave Teresa alone in there with Ethan for even five minutes. You know how easily she manipulates him. She's, she could get him to propose to her. Well, I trust Ethan, Mother. He's already made his decision. No, he wants to marry me, and no amount of tears and theatrics is going to change his mind. And you really believe that? He already dumped you for her twice. What makes you so sure he's not going to do it to you again? Because we're having a child together, Mother. Ethan loves me. He's an honorable man. He won't dump me again. Teresa. Ethan, what's going on? Don't do this, Ethan. You can't. You will realize that you love me. I know you will. I love you. I want you to be my wife. We take this ring as a token of my love and commitment. Oh, yes, Ethan. Yes. Oh, my God, it's beautiful.
love you so much. But I can't believe this is happening. Please, no. I just can't wait until we're married. <laughs>